Can LLMs predict the future? NYU students have recently been able to develop something called LLM time, where they use time series data and an LLM to try and figure out how to predict the future. Now, I've worked with time series data in the past, and I've worked with the past in the past. And I've worked at the past. I will be working with the past in the future as well. But one of the things I find really interesting is that we can have as much data as possible about the past. We can know everything about the past. We can know everything about an individual's movements. We can know everything about an individual's desires, requirements, how much they earn, all of this stuff. We can know enough, so much about people, so much about everything. We have so much data about everything. Yet, when we put it into almost every prediction model, almost every foresight model, we come up wanting. We can't figure out why people do something different or things occur in a different way than what we've predicted. Why is that? Well, if you ask me, it's fairly simple. Every moment is a new moment. Every person is a new person. As from one second to the next, everything changes. It may look the same, it may seem similar, but there's nothing which connects this moment with the next. It's kind of like roulette, right? So think about roulette for a second. So you're familiar with roulette, you throw the ball, lands on a number. Throw the ball again, lands on a number. Throw the ball again, lands on a number. You could track every single number from every single data point for 10 years and you still would not be able to predict where that ball is going to fall next because every moment is new. When I flip a coin and it goes heads or tails, you people probably think if I flip a coin a hundred times and every single time it went tails, you'd probably think to yourself, A, there's either something wrong with that coin and it's only a tails coin. Or B, well, heads has got to come up sometime. It'll probably come up next. So you bet on heads, which is wrong because every moment is new. Nothing depends on the previous moment. I mean, when you're driving, sure, when you're driving through time, when you're progressing through time, when you're moving through time, when you're listening to this video, sure, one moment travels the next. But who knows? In any, at any second, the video could stop. In any second, I could stop. In any second, I could leave the, pe leave the camera. You never know what's going to happen. Anything can happen. So that's why we can't use time series data to figure out where things, where things are going to go next. We can use it to help us inform where things are going. We can see trends, we can see patterns, but none of this stuff can be predicted accurately. And probably you're probably saying, well, Chris, you're a futurist. You're telling me that none of this stuff can be predicted? I'm saying, yeah, no, none of this stuff can be predicted accurately by looking at the past. You can look at trends, you can look at where things are going, you can look at directions of things, but you can't, you can't necessarily say with 100% accuracy that this or that's going to happen. Just because XYZ happened this time or place last year doesn't necessarily mean XYZ is going to happen in this time or place next year. It may not happen. Every moment is new. And that's why I have issues with things like success literature where people are going, just follow my 10-step plan and you can be successful too. Just follow my 20-step plan and you can be a multi-millionaire because I'm a multi-millionaire and here's my 10%, 10, my 20-step plan. Well, that specific thing happened for that person in that time, at that place, with those people. It's not going to happen again. We have that data, those data points and made it look su successful, but it may not necessarily, those occurrences, those things that happen to make that person successful, that lucky break, he probably got a lucky break at some point would probably never happen again. And if you're going to be successful, you may need, you may have, a, have to have a different lucky break. And I'm not saying that there's nothing to learn from that stuff. Absolutely, there's things to learn from that. But if you think 
by buying the success literature and reading it and going, if I just follow this 10-step plan or this 20-step plan or whatever step plan, I'm going to be just like Elon Musk. That's not happening. So we've tried. We can try, and we can f try and, f and figure out where things are going. In fact, this is a thing of science fiction novels. So many science fiction novels and, and fantasy novels have said, you know, all we really need to do is know enough about the world, about what happened before, and we can easily predict where things are going. Look at, I think it was um, one of the Marvel movies where Doctor Strange went through billions of permutations of where th what's going to happen for him to figure out that Iron Man had to die for them to defeat Thanos. That doesn't happen, people. It's imagination. It's fantasy. We can't tell the future from the past because every moment is new. So, how do we do it? Simple. We embrace change. We know things are going to change. We know things are going to be different in the future than the past. So we plan accordingly. We're not surprised, but things in the past are different from things in... Sorry, things in the future are different from things in the past. We can use the data to help us, but it's not going to give us predictions. It's not going to give us foresight. It's not going to give us that much insight into exactly what's going to happen next. So if you want to continue the conversation, just check out the Think Futurium on Telegram. Links are in below, or you can drop a line in the comments below. That's it for me for today. See you next time, and until then, don't forget to think future.